What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Planet Him. We're just pumping out these videos, aren't we? Like, is this, is this what they call consistency? Okay, look, so today, you guys, we are going to be checking out the Raven Wednesday and the Wednesday Fashion Pack. Now, Mattel did send me both of these, as well as the Enid and Wednesday Cordals. Which thank you to them for sending those over to me. But yeah, today, you guys, our main focus is these, okay? And I'm so, so excited. Because if y'all have seen this fashion pack anywhere at all, it's fire. Okay, so here goes the Painted Black Fashion Pack. Now, this is a Mattel Creations exclusive. Uh, it retails for $25. I, I don't know if this will sell out. It definitely could. Um, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, selling out super quick or not. I think it still might be available at the moment on Mattel Creations. Here is the box. This is our first fashion pack, I think, since Monster High has been back. For this to be the first fashion pack, it definitely ate. It definitely ate. So, in this box, you get a dress, a sweatshirt, a cello with a bow, a pair of stockings, and a pair of shoes. And the fact that they decided to include her cello in the bow, like, that is so sickening, as well as the outfit being really, really good as well. So this is the dress that she comes wearing. Now this is the, if you watch the show, this is the very first outfit that Wednesday wears. And then she does wear this outfit right here in the show as well, except she doesn't wear it with the dress under it. She actually has a sweater on under it in the show. But I love that they were able to combine two looks. So you get two different looks out this fashion pack, to be honest. So that's pretty dope. And on this side, it says Monster High Wednesday. And here's the back if you would like to pause and read. There's a little light assembly required, nothing crazy. Okay, you guys, so here is Raven Wednesday. Now, I was really debating on if I even wanted to open this doll, but I decided I will. I, I really just wanted the core Enid and Wednesday inbox. I just like I had to have a second set of them inbox. I think I'd be okay opening this doll. So I think I am gonna go ahead and just open it and review it for you guys, you know, so you can guys can really get an up close look and decide if you wanna buy it yourselves. But I absolutely like love the display, like the whole like, you know, kind of plastic cover is really, really nice. I also love the silver. It's Monster High X Wednesday, Raven Wednesday right here on the front. Like I know a lot of people weren't really feeling this doll, but I think she's really pretty in person. I just can't wait to go ahead and get her up out the box. Like the little skulls in her eyes, the hairstyle, the black lips, and the dress, the nails are painted. And I really appreciate the fact that they really went all out for this Wednesday moment. Okay, here goes the back of the box. If you would like to see, you can go ahead and pause and read if you would like to. I definitely want to try to style my doll's bangs like this. Because I feel like the Wednesday dolls look so good when the bangs look like this. So I definitely want to try to give my Wednesday, because you, as you can see, the bangs are just a little bit more clean and it doesn't look bad, like by any means, but you know, I just, I just think the messier look looks so much nicer and it definitely gives more Wednesday because that's how her hair looks in the show and everything. So this doll specifically, you can only get online. I don't think it's just a Mattel Creations exclusive, but you can only get this doll online. It will not be an in-store thing. So probably like Amazon, Walmart, Target, I think I've seen her on there. So so yeah, those are the places that you'll want to look for her. All right, you guys, so now I do have all of the bags open and I love the little like Nevermore print that they use for the bags, so cute. And then we also have my little extra Wednesday here we're gonna be putting in the fashion pack. So let's go ahead and get into it, okay? So right here, it's pretty obvious what this is. <laughs> we have the cello. Okay, so next we have the hoodie. And I'm in love with this piece, honestly. I was so, so excited to have this in doll form. Next, we have the dress. And honestly, this piece is so nice as well. Like the, like the quality is really, really nice. Next up, we have the shoes. But so I tried doing a fashion pack and like eating it up like this. Like, like this is our first little fashion pack from Monster High in a minute. And y'all definitely ate this up. Like y'all definitely went all out for this. And I'm really, really liking it, to be honest. You can have these socks right here. And then our last thing is the bow for the cello. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so excited to get this outfit on her. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. All right, you guys, so here we go with all three of the Wednesday dolls. Now, technically the fashion pack, you know, doesn't really come with a doll, but I did have an extra Wednesday. So yeah, I went ahead and dressed her up in this look. 
And I just have to say, y'all, I love this so much. I love that we got so many different looks. And technically, this is kind of two different looks, like, mixed together. So, I, I'm really, really feeling it, okay? Obviously, we've checked out this Wednesday. I do have a whole review up for her. But I really did just want to give you guys a look at all three of them together. We are going to go ahead and move her to the side. Just so we can go ahead and check these two out. Okay, so I think we're going to start with Fashion Pack. Wednesday. Okay, so really it's just the clothes we're getting into. This is just the base core doll, but we're really gonna, you know, just get into the clothes a little bit. I'm gonna talk about how I feel and everything. So first off, like the cello, <laughs> the cello is such an amazing accessory. I'm so happy that they included that. Cause one, it was like one of the main pieces in her room and they even had the little scene where she was playing the cello like out on a little balcony area. So I just love the fact that they included it. And it's just so nice. Like it's a really, really nice piece. Um, I love how the back is not super like open and I love all the like little details all over it. Like the little spider down here, please. Like the mode is so nice, like wow. Y'all really did an amazing job, I'm not even gonna lie. And then you have the bow. So I kind of have her holding the bow right here. Okay, as far as the outfit, like I was saying earlier, it's kind of two outfits in one. So you do have the main like dress. Now this is, is the very first outfit that you see her in in the show. So, you know, this dress alone is an outfit. And then she has another outfit that includes this jacket socks and shoes but it's a different like top i think it's like a sweater or something but i absolutely love the jacket it's very big very much oversized for sure i love the little like details right here because i almost look like venus fly traps or something i really love the look it's a bit more chill compared to her other looks um i like the socks but honestly if i had to complain about one thing with just the way my socks were made is socks were kind of like made uneven i don't know if you guys can tell okay then here go the shoes that come in the fashion pack they're really cute i really like the little spider web details and the details for the laces they're super cute but yeah i'm obsessed with her y'all you know another look for ian would have been everything but I'm, I'm happy with wednesday okay i know wednesday is the main character so you know it, it makes sense yeah the fashion pack look is definitely amazing definitely worth getting in my opinion like if you're thinking about it i would definitely go ahead and snatch it up especially because it's a mattel creations exclusive so we don't know how long it's going to be available or be in stock so if you want this I would definitely say go ahead and grab it now while you still have the chance, you know? Because you wouldn't want to regret it in the future if you don't get in. You'd be like, damn, I wish I would have got, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you might as well go ahead and just snatch them now while you still can. But yeah, it's amazing. I love it. The fashion pack is $25, like I said earlier in the video. Let's go ahead and get into Raven Wednesday. So, this is probably one of my favorite Monster High collaborations. Honestly, probably one of the best monster high collaborations in my opinion okay so i want to show you guys the differences the differences in the screenings for the dolls so as you can see um this one does have a more like kind of like brownish lip this one has a black lip the eyes on the other hand they're the same color and everything the eyes on this doll has like the little spider web details in them and the eyes on this doll has a little skull in them without the spider webs. So yeah, slightly different. I feel like even the makeup is the same, like, like the eyeshadow is the same on these dolls. Yeah, it's really just the little details in the eyes that are different as far as the screenings. I mean, besides the lip, but yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love the hairstyle though. I was so excited to see this like hairstyle on the doll because we don't see super complex hairstyles all the time. So it was really, really nice to see one on her. I love the whole almost like braided headband moment. We obviously have the little iconic bangs up in the front. Now I heard that the earrings she has on are actually repeats. I heard that these are from Picture Day Dracula, I believe. You know, which, I mean, doesn't bother me necessarily, but yeah, some you know how some people feel about collector dolls having reused accessories and stuff, so yeah. Am I the only one who gets collector vibes? Am I the only one who gets collector vibes from all of these dolls? It's definitely giving collector to me. She does have her painted nails, and on this doll, she has both of the regular hands. She doesn't have the snapping hand mode. Honestly, really love the dress. I know some people like, you know, were saying the fabric kind of looks cheap or whatever. 
Fabric doesn't bother me though. I like the way it looks. I like the effect that it gives. It's very, very show accurate. In the show, this dress is actually very much see-through. And Jenna Ortega actually had to wear a bodysuit under it. And this doll actually has a whole bodysuit on under this that literally goes from like right here all the way down to her toes. I love the little like collar with the ruffles. And I almost love how this like fabric kind of like shines in the light a little bit. It's a little like, you know, it's cute, it's cute. You have two ruffles that go right here. I hear you have on this black belt with these little silver details. I believe that's a W on the front of it right here. It definitely looks like a W. And you can unattach it from the back. The dress comes like draping down. You have these three nice little layers right here. And I wasn't gonna take this off, but I think I might go ahead and take it off. Just so y'all can really get a good look at the bodysuit. So I'll be right back. Okay, and then here you go with the bodysuit. Honestly, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, it's just a bodysuit. It's nothing like spectacular or anything. But I think it's cute, especially if you're like a restyler or whatever. I'm sure you can have a lot of fun with this piece right here. But it's, it's cute though. And I really love the fact that they included it in with this outfit. And while we have the dress off, we might as well go ahead and get into the shoes. Now, I know some people didn't know exactly what... Um, most people didn't know exactly what was on her heels. So these are basically like ice sculptures. So this one right here, so this one right here just seems to be like, I don't know, just, you know, ice. Or almost literally looks like a crystal a little bit. But this one right here for sure was in the, in the Raven dance scene. They had a huge ice sculpture of like this man or whatever. And that's exactly what this is right here. Okay, y'all. Well, really, that's it. I don't really have too much else to say that's pretty much it for the review portion of this video wednesday is like one of my comfort shows so to be able to have the dolls from one of my favorite shows is absolutely crazy and like they're monster high dolls like bit let me let me tell you something Mattel, y'all really ate this up Mattel, this this was iconic for sure for sure this was definitely iconic if y'all decided to come back for season two and give us more dolls i live for that honestly i'm not like like, like gonna hold my breath on it I, I highly doubt that that would happen again but if they if it did i would be here for it i would not be complaining especially if like maybe we got like a new character next season or something and maybe she gets a doll or he whatever i don't i would be here for it i would be here for it Especially because, you know, they worked together once. Who's, who, you know, they, who says they can't work together again? Only thing that makes me think they might not do that is because they have put out a lot. Because technically, you got the Skelector, you know, Skelector Mortician Wednesday. That's one set. And then you have these three plus Enid. So, you know, we've already kind of got a few dolls from them. So if they decide not to, child, I guess it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done already put out enough. You know, I'm living for what we got. But, you know, if you want to, you know what I'm saying? No pressure. I've been trying to carry all three of these dolls around with me all day. Cause it's like, it's so hard to pick which one you want to like walk around with and carry with you. Cause they're all just so much fun. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you guys feel about these three. Like which Wednesday is your favorite? Which look is your favorite? Like, how are you feeling about them? Did you get them? Did you buy them yourself? Have you found them yet? Like, let me know. Let me know. I'm very curious to see how you guys feel and what you guys want to get and all that kind of stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to support. Also, make sure you guys go follow my Instagram and my TikTok. Links are down in the description. Make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you are yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.